Hello, today we look at this question which involves proof by mathematical induction. The question says, proof by mathematical induction that 1 plus 2n is less than 2 to the n for all positive integers n greater than or equal to 3. In order to start solving, we need to recall certain facts about inequalities. So we'll be focusing mainly on the set of positive integers and the relation is less than because they are directly involved in the equation. The first notion that we'll be looking at is the transitivity of the relation is less than on the set of real numbers. But as I said, we'll be focusing mainly on the set of positive integers which is the set that is directly linked with the equation. So the transitivity of the less than relation can be stated that for all A, B and C elements of positive integers, if A is less than B and B is less than C, then A is less than C. A simple example, 3 is less than 5 and 5 is less than 7. Obviously, then 3 is less than 7. We also have to note that for all a, b and k elements of positive integers, if a minus b is always negative, then a will always be less than b. These notions about the less than relation are needed for the proof that we are seeking to do by mathematical induction. So we start by looking at the statement again which says we should prove that 1 plus 2n is less than 2 to the n for all n greater than or equal to 3 and n is an element of positive integers. So we start the proof with the base case where we have to prove that the statement is true for the smallest value of n which is 3 because we are required to prove that it is true for n greater than or equal to 3 so the base case would be the case where n equals 3 if you substitute 3 for n in the statement given you would have that 1 plus 2 times 3 is less than 2 to the power 3 and clearly we can see that 7 is less than 8 and the left hand side being less than the right hand side means the statement is true for the base case n equals 3 we now move to the inductive hypothesis step where we have to assume that the statement is true for n equals k. We have then that 1 plus 2k would be less than 2 to the k and we can call that relationship 1 because we are going to be making reference to it later. From here we move to the inductive step whereby we have to prove that the statement is true for n equals k plus 1s in order to prove that the statement is true for n equals k plus 1, we must make direct use of the statement that we have assumed in the inductive hypothesis step. And so we would be required in this inductive step to prove that the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. So the required statement that we are seeking to prove in this step is the fact that 1 plus 2 into k plus 1 remember we are replacing n by k plus 1 should be less than 2 to the power k plus 1 and if we simplify we would get 3 plus 2k on the left hand side less than 2 times 2 to the k on the right hand side so on the left hand side we have expanded the 2 and then simplified to have 3 plus 2k and on the right hand side we have used laws of indices to break down the power into 2 to the k times 2 to the 1 which simply gives 2 times 2 to the k. And so this is the statement that we'll be seeking to prove that it is true in this inductive step. Moving over then, the statement that we're seeking to prove in the inductive step, and then we bring the statement that we assumed in the inductive hypothesis step. And strategy here is to make sure that the right-hand side of the required statement and that of the assumed statement should be the same and so we need to multiply both sides of the assumed statement by 2 so that the right hand side of the inequality would be identical to that of the required step 
so multiplying both sides by two two being positive the inequality sign would be unaffected and then we simplify to have 2 plus 2k less than 2 times 2 to the k and this is another form of the assumed statement that we had in the inductive hypothesis step from here now we have to compare the left hand sides of these two inequalities the required statement that we are seeking to prove and the assumed statement that we brought in from the inductive hypothesis step the right hand sides of the, the required statement that we are seeking to prove and that of the statement that we assumed being identical if we now make a comparison of the left hand sides of the two statements we can be able to make a decisive conclusion about the statement that we are seeking to prove in the inductive step and so we would be comparing 3 plus 2k and 2 plus 4k for all k greater than or equal to 3 k being an element of positive integers to do the comparison we simply find the difference between the two statements 3 plus 2k minus 2 plus 4k is equal to 1 minus 2k and clearly for all k greater than or equal to 3 1 minus 2k will always be less than 0 and so we can conclude that 3 plus 2k is always less than 2 plus 4k for all k greater than or equal to 3 where k is a positive integer so from this statement then the transitivity of the less than relation can then come in where we have to argue that if 3 plus 2k is less than 2 plus 4k and 2 plus 4k is less than 2 times 2 to the k then 3 plus 2k is also less than 2 to the 2k and so the statement that we were required to prove in the inductive step has clearly been proven that for all k greater than or equal to 3 with k being an element of positive integers 3 plus 2k is always less than 2 times 2 to the k and so the statement is then true for n equals k plus 1 so we can conclude then that 1 plus 2n is always less than 2 to the n for all n greater than or equal to 3 n being an element of positive integers